Let's continue our discussion of the solid principles. Today we'll look at the L in solid, the Liskov substitution principle. This one is simple in the extreme. Subtypes must be substitutable for their base types. Named after Barbara Liskov, who first formulated it in 1988, it's the principle at the heart of any class inheritance chain. If you write a function or a class that uses a parameter or variable of some base class, then you should be able to pass an instance of some descendant class, and the behavior should remain exactly the same. Unfortunately, I don't have any examples of this from my own code, since I have long since embraced this principle, so I'll have to make something up. Suppose we have a base class called bird that has a virtual method called fly. Then you could write a descendant duck class that overrode that method to do something pertaining to how ducks fly. Everywhere that expected an instance of bird could be passed an instance of duck and everything would work just fine. And then someone wrote an ostrich class. The problem here is that although an ostrich instance is substitutable for a bird instance, it introduces some new breaking change to every place a bird is asked to fly. An exception is thrown because, of course, ostriches don't fly. This descendant class breaks the Liskov substitution principle by introducing new behavior into existing code by writing a descendant of the base class. Now, sure, you can go back and make some modifications to your bird class to take account of this new functionality, but consider this. In doing so, you are violating the open-close principle, OCP. That is, classes that are open for extension, but closed to modification. As you can see, the Liskov substitution principle is closely linked to the open-closed principle. If you follow the Liskov substitution principle, your class hierarchy will follow open-closed principle implicitly. You are creating base classes that can be extended ad nauseam by writing descendant classes, all the time ensuring that you don't have to modify the code of the base classes.